Hi there, I'm Peter DeWitt. I work for the Bureau of Land Management as a program manager for the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse Outstanding Natural Area. The Bureau of Land Management manages the public lands for the productive, sustainable use uh, for current and future generations. The Jupiter Lighthouse Museum is a partner listed in the Congressional Act that created the Jupiter Lighthouse Outstanding Natural Area. The relationship with the Lighthouse and Museum is so important as they facilitate visitor access, interpretive and educational programs here at the Lighthouse while we manage the grounds and the facilities and protect and enhance cultural and natural resources. So the partnership really began in the late 90s when the first piece of the property here was relinquished by the US Coast Guard. Since then we've worked together in various capacities to enhance, improve, add visitor services to the lighthouse and do maintenance work on the lighthouse itself. So in essence we're approaching about 30 years working together. So one of the programs we do here at the Lighthouse is encourage people to get out and use the public lands, especially people who aren't thinking that those opportunities exist. We specifically target a veterans organization, our organizations to bring veterans out and appreciate the public lands that they, they serve to protect. My favorite part of the Jupiter Lighthouse, this pedestrian pier was installed just a little over a year ago as part of a living shoreline project. That gives us amazing views of the Lighthouse, plus incredible views down into the rich and diverse uh, Loxahatchee River right here at the Jupiter Inlet. So the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum was actually a congressionally named partner in the designation that created and protected the outstanding natural area. So they're written into the legislation and we work very closely with them, which happens in only a few instances throughout the United States.